green, so it helps the top of your mats, finding a nice strong mountain pose for you this evening. So spreading the toes as best you can, maybe bringing the feet together or maybe keeping them apart under the hips. And then once you've felt grounded through the feet, let's bring the length and strength up the legs, up the spine, down the arms, and come into the breath. Take a big breath in and out. And then coming to connect to breath for your practice. As we move this evening, we want to keep our breath louder than our thoughts. So Ujjayi breath is optimal for rocket. You can breathe however you like. Just promise yourself you'll move at the speed that you're breathing. Using the next inhale, let's take the arms all the way up overhead and lift the gaze. Catch your wrist and as you exhale, stretch out through one side. Inhale back to the middle and exhale over the other one. Inhale, back up to centre, look up, reach up. And as you exhale, soften the knees, hinge from the hips, hands to the floor. Inhale, look forwards, long spine. Leave your eyes there as you step the feet back and come down through your chaturanga. Elbows close, exhaling. Inhale, open up the front of the body, upward dog. And exhale, all the way back into downward dog. And for this first one, maybe take the feet a bit wider, bend into the knees and really concentrate on stretching those hips back. Nice long arms, strong hands, strong core as you find a straight line from your hands to your hips. Last breath, inhaling, filling up. Exhaling, connecting the core, getting the hands ready as you come forwards. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, fold under the legs. Inhale, all the way up, hands and eyes. Exhale, reset, two more of those. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold over, hands to the floor. Inhale, look forwards, maybe jump the feet back, land with soft elbows. Inhale, open up the heart, and exhale, downward dog. So again, concentrating on that long line, hands to hips, but then if it feels good to find a long line, hips to heels, go for it. Just make sure your head doesn't pop out of your arms. Nice full breath, keeping space around the neck, strengthen the legs, strengthen the belly. Last one. Maybe jumping forward. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, reset. Last one. Inhale, lift all the way. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, look forwards. Find your way back. To down the dog. Feels good to reach a leg out, have a play, keeping the hips level, but also exploring stacking them, maybe bending the knee. Other side. Downward dog for a breath. Finishing your round. All the way up. And reset. Let's work through some B's. Inhaling to chair. Exhaling to fold. Back through your vinyasa to downward dog. Let's 
bring the right foot forwards. Maybe starting in crescent lunge, so staying on those left toes as you inhale. Lift the hands up, eyes up. Come back down through your vinyasa. Left side, steps forward, stay on the right toes, inhale up, come back down. Downward dog. Finish your round, come forwards. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, tall. Two more of those. Inhale to chair. Exhale to fold. Back through your vinyasa. Right side, warrior one. Inhale, lift the hands. Come back down through your vinyasa. Left side, step forward. Warrior one, inhale, lift the hands. Come back down. Let's find a twist for this downward dog. Just reach right hand back towards left leg, peeking out under the left side. Try not to let your hips sway out. Another side. Left hand to right leg. And back to downward dog. Breathing in. And out. Finish your round. Inhale long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, up. last one. Inhaling to chair. Exhaling to fold. Inhale, looking forward and back through your vinyasa. Down dog, right side. Warrior one or crescent lunge. Inhale, hands and eyes up. Come back down through your vinyasa. Left side. Downward dog. Let's find a side plank. So pressing into the left hand, let's lift the hips high, right hand to the sky. Stack that right foot on the left, or maybe lift. Press the hips up. Keep reaching out. Back through the middle to the other side. Right hand down, left hand up. Left leg on top, or maybe reaching high. Keep pressing the hips up. And back to downward dog. Finish your round. Find your chair. And all the way up. And just standing tall at the top of your mat, hands at your heart, taking a moment to study your breath, study your thoughts, and give your practice a purpose. Okay, we're going to head back into chair pose. So either touch the tops of the feet together or keep them apart. Just make sure your knees stay over your ankles. We're going to drop into the hips, pull the belly in, pull the ribs in, bring the hands together into prayer. So strong legs, strong bum, bend your knees. Inhale, take the arms up, take the eyes up. Let the shoulder heads lift, but keep the space around your neck. From here, maybe you can lift your gaze to your thumbs. Maybe you can roll the tailbone out behind you. Breathe. Last 
Our last one. Good. Keep reaching forwards with the hands, back with the hips and fold the belly onto or between the thighs. Ski a pose. Inhaling. Exhaling. Two more breaths. Good. Bring your hands down to the mat in front of you and come and check in with crow pose. So hands are strong, arms are bending, knees press onto the back of the arms, squeeze the feet up, keep your gaze forwards and breathe here. Try not to look at your hands, try and stick those toes together. Last one. And back through your vinyasa to downward dog. Okay, right side standing poses. Let's bring the right foot forwards, coming up into warrior one. So just take a moment to make sure both hips look forwards. So back foot's about 45 degrees-ish. Just make sure it's not turned out behind you. Bend into that front knee, strong in the legs. Hands come together, maybe interlacing the fingers. Inhale, lift the arms up, lift the eyes up. Lift the sides long. But stay in the legs. Try not to come up out of that front knee. Keep pressing into the feet, reaching out through the hands, drawing in and up with the belly, pelvic floor. Keep breathing. Good from warrior one. Let's inhale up, open the hands. And as we exhale, twist out into warrior two. So turning the back foot a bit. Just make sure your heel. It's still the furthest point. Reach to your fingertips. Good. Coming down into humble warrior. So we want to roll that front knee out the way as we bring the hands down behind and interlace. Inhale, lift up your heart. Exhale, spin the shoulders forward. Reach the arms long overhead. And try and reach the crown of your head towards your big toe. Keep pushing into that back foot. And try not to lock out your elbows here. Good. push into the feet, use an inhale to come up. Let's adjust for triangle. So back foot comes forwards, maybe the toes turn round a little, reach out through your arms. Use your next exhale to pull those hips back under you as you reach forwards and lay your ribs along your front thigh. Don't reach for the floor with this hand. Try and focus on rolling your shoulders open and getting your ribs over your thigh. If you can then come to the floor as well, inside or outside or holding, Big toe and carry on. Long legs, maybe straight legs. Keep breathing. You're push into the feet, come up. And let's come into revolve triangle. So maybe the back foot steps out and round a touch more. Again, exhale to pull the hips back to start to twist, stick the tops of the legs together as the left hand comes down towards the right foot. And reach that right arm up and round. Good. Inhale all the way up and exhale back out into warrior two. So just turn your back foot a bit maybe, make sure your front knee, your right knee is running with the toes. Let's bring the front arm across the belly, back arm six to the ear. Inhale, reach up long, and then exhale, bend into the knee. Trying to make a straight line, back foot to top hand. So left side, super long and straight. Maybe you bring the bottom arm out, keep spinning, your chest forwards. Good, inhale all the way up. And as you exhale, spin on the back toes and come and tuck your left elbow outside your right knee. Drive out through the feet, draw in with the belly and try and spin your eyes round to the ceiling. Good, untangling. 
and coming down. So we'll come play with our flying splits transition. So let's first start to get the idea. So left knee lifts up, right knee sticks to the right shoulder, right foot squeezes in, high plank. Maybe chaturanga. Maybe you can squeeze that back foot off the floor. Maybe you can extend the legs out uh, long and then back through your vinyasa to downward dog. All right, coming into dolphin number one. So onto the knees, drop both elbows together and just check they're under your shoulders by wrapping your arms, fingers find the outsides of your elbows. Interlace your fingers or place your hands flat. Plug into the mat with the elbows, pull the legs in the upper arms in the sides, belly in as you start to walk the hips up, coming to find your dolphin. So don't worry about your legs being straight, but if that feels okay, then go for it. But try and get your hips high, try and get your head to relax and use as much length in the upper arms as you can. Keep breathing. Last one. And then release down into child's pose. Hips to heels, arms forwards or back. Nice big breath. Right, finding your way through a vinyasa, back to downward dog. Left side, let's bring the left foot forwards for warrior one. So the right foot drops back to the angle you need, so both hips look forwards. Plug into the legs, pick everything up from the inside, hands come together. As you inhale, lift the arms, lengthen the sides, let the shoulders lift, can you bring your eyes up? Stay in the legs, breathing, strong in the belly, long in the sides. Okay, next inhale takes you up, and as you exhale, twist out into warrior two. So back foot turns a little maybe, stay forwards with that front knee. Fingertips come down behind you, interlace the long arms. Inhale, roll your heart up, spin forwards as you exhale, bend into that front knee, roll it out the way, try and slip your left shoulder inside your left knee, push into that back foot, arms are long and strong, head comes towards the big toe. Okay, plug in and pull up. Release the hands and adjust the triangle. So back foot comes forwards and round a little. Reach out through the arms. Exhale, suck the hips back. Reach forwards and lay your ribs along your front thigh. You can keep a small bend in that front knee. Just make sure it's not so that you use the floor to hold you up. Use your legs and your sides to support you here. all the way up and we'll come into revolve triangle so back foot maybe goes out and round a little exhaling sucking those hips back sticking the tops of the thighs as the right hand comes down towards the left foot and the left hand reaches up breathe really concentrate on squeezing the tops of your thighs together drawing the belly in All the way back up as you inhale and out to warrior two. So sort your feet out, get deep in that front leg. Left arm comes across the belly, right arm sticks to the ear. Reach up as you inhale and as you exhale, bend into that front knee, finding a long straight line from right foot to right hand. Maybe the bottom arm comes out. Maybe you can look up between the hands. Good, inhale all the way up. Spin on those back toes, and as you exhale, tuck the right elbow outside the left knee, 
twist, breathe, eyes to the ceiling. Okay, coming back down and coming to play with your flying splits on this side. So first things first, coming into that plank position, arms are long and strong, belly strong, squeeze the left foot up, maybe bend into the elbows, maybe you can squeeze the right foot in, maybe the legs extend, and back through your vinyasa to downward dog. Okay, dolphin number two, come in from the top if you can drop both elbows together, otherwise onto the knees first. Once they're down, check they're under your shoulders, find the hands you need, and start to work on getting those hips high. You could play with lifting a leg here, just make sure you don't spin the hips, keep them square, you could go for little hops. Keep breathing. Last one. And down you come to rest. Child's pose. Okay, finding your way back to downward dog. So tuck those toes, press the hips back, and really make sure you're strong in those legs. Maybe bring your hands back a touch. When you're ready, try and come up onto double fingertips. So both hands together, fingertips. And then maybe walk your hands back a little more until you feel ready to pull yourself back over your legs and fold over the thighs, belly pressing onto them. Bend your knees to make this happen. We work on our folds. We want to really concentrate on hinging from the hips, not the spine. Come take hold of your big toes with your second and third fingers. Inhale, nice long spine. And as you exhale, pull the elbows out to the side, roll the crown of the head to the floor. Try to resist the urge to put all the weight in your heels. Try not to press your knees back. Try and press your body onto your legs and shift the weight forwards. Squash your fingers. Breathe deep. Keep the front of the body super strong so the back of the body can stretch. Thighs lift from the kneecaps. Belly draws in. All right, let's keep everything the same. We're just going to change the grip. So the palms of your hands come under the soles of your feet. Bend your knees so that you can get comfortable there. Inhale, nice long arms. Exhale, pull the elbows out to the side. Roll the crown of your head down. And from here, maybe you can start to shift your weight forwards so the heels get lighter. Maybe they get so light you can come to stand on the backs of your hands. Maybe you can come right up onto tiptoes, drawing those heels high, breathing. And then release the heels, release the hands, hold your elbows, reach your forearms to your feet and pull your toes up towards your arms. Yeah, release your hands. Let's come check in with a high, high entry crow. So try not to drop your bum. Just bring your hands forwards and down into the mat as best you can. Squeeze the elbows towards each other. Maybe you go for a high crow with the arms bending, keeping the bum high, squeezing the feet up. Or maybe you can play with crane, trying to keep your arms straighter, trying to tuck the knees into the elbows, seeing if you can find balance there. Keep breathing, whatever you're doing. And then release the feet, fingertips to the mat. Roll up onto the tiptoes again. Bottom drops to knee height. Take the hands off the mat. And find your skier pose in stilettos. Good, from here, let's bring the hips. Uh, leave the hips down, bring the shoulders up over them. Arms can be in front or overhead. all the way up tall on those tiptoes and try closing your eyes. Allow a few steps to manage the wobbles. Keep breathing. Uh, 
opening the eyes and jumping up sideways on your mats. So let's turn the toes in a touch, turn the heels out a little if you can. Feet are about double shoulders, not too much more. Hands come onto your hips, legs are strong, bums strong. Just like all our other forward folds, we're going to reach forwards rather than worrying about coming down. So as we inhale, draw up nice and tall through the spine. As we exhale, hinge forwards, reach through your chin, feel your toes catch you. Keep reaching forwards, squeezing those elbows together, rolling the crown of your head towards the floor as you try and get your uh, ribs in between your thighs. Breathe here. Keep drawing those thighs up towards the hips. Keep pressing into the feet. Try not to force the kneecaps back. Yeah, let's roll all the way up. Inhale, lift the hands, heart, eyes. Bring the hands down behind you. Interlace them. As you inhale, roll the heart up. As you exhale, fold forwards. Arms long and strong, lifting up and over. Breathing. Yeah, release your hands and come find your big toes. Hold on again, or you could hold your ankles. As you inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, crown of the head re uh, reaches to the ground. Elbows pull out to the sides. Roll those sit bones up. Try not to be heavy in your heels. Bring your hands down to the mat, finding chaturanga arms, so bent arms, elbows rolling in, bend your knees a bit if you need, feel strong in your hands and walk your hands back as far as you can keep them in contact with the mat, maybe that's enough, maybe sucking the belly and the thighs up, you can start to press up onto the tiptoes, just playing with that transition of weight, or maybe you can get the top of your head down to the mat, making a triangle with your hands, maybe you can roll right onto the top of your head from finding tripod headstand in a straddle. Keep breathing. If you bring the legs right up, make sure you think of zipping those thighs together. Stay active all the way to the toes. Keep the elbows squeezing towards each other. And let's find our way back down if we've come up. Nice and steady. Trying to land the feet back down from where they took off. Good. And bringing your hands to the front of the mat. Let's turn the heels in a little now so the toes are a bit wider and bend all the way over into one knee, all the way back over to the other side. If you want to explore peeling the toes up towards the ceiling, make sure your thighs are strong. Maybe you take the hands away, go the other side. And come back to the middle, hands come down, belly back on, legs are strong, let's find our way out into middle splits today, whatever that looks like for you. So keep the soles of your feet in contact with the mat until your bottom's down. Either the arms are long and strong, or you come onto the elbows, try not to dump into the shoulders, stay active, and breathe. Splits are strong first, space will come. Keep breathing. And let's spin round over the right thigh and drop the left knee down behind. Keep the toes tucked if you can. Before you go any further exploring your splits, really concentrate on pressing that left thigh towards the mat, that left hip forwards. Don't let it spin open. If that's enough, stay there. Light on the fingertips or maybe no hands. Or maybe you start to walk that right foot out further forwards. Maybe you explore untucking the left toes. Maybe you can take the hands away, if you twist round to the right, maybe you lift the hands up tall. Breathe. Good. Let's come and explore the other side. So carefully, with the help of your hands, bring your feet back towards each other a little. As you spin over the left leg, right knee comes down, right toes tucked. Good, square the hips, press that right side 
forwards and down. And then from there, maybe you explore taking the hands away. Maybe you explore coming out into full splits. Breathe. Don't expect the same shape on each side. Just try and find the same feeling. And coming down onto your bottoms, taking your legs out wide, flex the toes up and pull the thighs in. We want to hinge from the hips here. So if when we fold forwards we get stuck and we end up folding our shoulders forward, bending in the back, let's bring the knees up. And in fact, we want to hold our feet, so maybe start with the knees up anyway. Hold on to the big toes or the outside edges of the feet. As you inhale, pull the spine long, and as you exhale, try and bring your chin to the floor. Feel your back muscles doing the pulling, pulling your shoulder blades towards each other and down your back. Keep those legs strong, but maybe you can extend them out. Maybe you can find your way right down to the floor here. Just make sure you're feeling something. Try not to let your head drop. Try and bring your chin to the mat. Keep breathing. Let's walk ourselves up. Let's keep the left foot flexed as we close the left knee and bring the left foot into the inside the right side. Spin your shoulders, either side of that left leg, uh, right leg, sorry, and pull the right toes towards you. Reach your nose to your toes. Try and keep your shoulders level. You can hold your foot if you like. Just try and make sure that you don't spin out to the side here. Keep breathing, fold forwards, face to foot. Okay, now we're going for the twist. So bring the right hand arm inside the right leg as you roll the left ribs to the ceiling. Lift the left hand. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you reach the left arm over. Connect the hands behind the head. Or perhaps you can even take hold of your foot. Just make sure you can keep those ribs rolling out to the sky. Good, come all the way up. And let's switch to the other side. So left leg out long, right foot flexes, close the knee and rotate the right foot in. Spin your shoulders. Reach your face to your foot. Breathe here. Don't expect the same thing, just use the same methods, find the same feelings. Come into that twist, so left arm inside the left leg as you spin the right ribs to the ceiling, reach the right hand up maybe, maybe interlace the hands, or maybe reach over for the toes. And bring yourself all the way back up. So we'll do our quick Muller band of checkups, the rocket special. So maybe bring your feet a little closer together than they were. And get ready to scoot your hips back and then press the hands into the floor. If you have blocks or books, then um, this can make it easier as you've got longer arms then, so a bit more space between your bottom and the floor. But you can, you can practice this without. So make sure your fingers face forwards with your shoulders. Flex or point your toes, but get your legs on. Pick up your insides, so pick up your pelvic floor, your seat and then focus on scooting those hips back and then pressing the floor down. Maybe the bottom lifts, maybe the feet lift. Make sure you can breathe. Two, one, come down if you get cramp. Pop an elbow into the area, usually helps. And then let's do the other side. So hands come down, legs are on, point or flex. Pick everything up from the inside, scoot those hips back and take off. Two, one, and come back down. Good. Bring the soles of the feet together. Take hold. Maybe flat the knees, maybe rock side to side. Draw lengths up the spine. Roll the head side to side. Two, 
coming back to the middle. Let's try and fold our chin to the floor. So we want to keep the back long, draw the elbows out to the side, engage those upper back muscles again. Press the knees to the floor, draw the belly in, and reach through your chin. Try not to look at your feet. Um, forwards. I'll spend a long way to the so you can see. Keep breathing. Okay, now we're going to go forehead to feet. So let the back round. Drop the head down. Good, sitting up tall. Let's find those sit bones. Squeeze the knees together. Bring the knees in under the chin as you reach up tall through the spine and the feet take off the mat. Boat pose. Tuck the chin so the weight of your head pulls you in rather than out. And breathe here. Spread that strength out to the edges of the belly. Maybe you can lift the legs without the body falling away. Last breath. Two, one. Cross the ankles, roll over through a vinyasa. And back to downward dog. I have ended up the other way on my mat. You don't need to do that. Okay, from here, we're going to try and jump through and come sit on our bottom. So let's bring the hands back a bit, bend the knees so the belly and the thighs start to touch. And think about lifting your hips up when you come forward. You want to do a mini handstand. So get the hands strong, belly strong, curl forwards and up. All the way down onto your bottoms, legs out in front. Okay, we're going to come forward, fold again. So we want to make sure that we're folding from the hips. So maybe we bend the knees again so we can find the toes. As we inhale, nice long spine. As we exhale, belly lies on the thighs, elbows draw out to the side, nose to toes. Maybe you can keep that compression and slip the feet forwards, but don't let the back round and lift off just to get the legs straight. Last breath here. Let's inhale all the way up with the arms. And as you exhale, bring your hands down behind you, fingers facing your bottom, and point your toes. Try and stick your knees together. Next, inhale. Let's lift the chest, lift the heart, push into the hands, and then press those hips up. And breathe here. You're trying to roll the big toes together to stick them to the floor. You can let the head hang back. Or you can strengthen your neck for your inversions by tucking your chin in. Keep breathing. And release. Back into your boat. Two. One. Cross your ankles over through a vinyasa and back to downward dog. Jumping through onto our bottoms again. So adjusting your downward dog, making it a bit shorter, bringing your hands back a little, get ready to go up and through onto your bottoms and come down onto your backs. Good. So from here, let's come work with a bridge. So shuffle your hips forward to touch. Okay, take, maybe you can tickle your ankles already. Maybe you just press your hands into the floor. Take your feet to a little wider than the hips maybe and turn the toes in. Press into the feet, press into the shoulders, pick up your bottom, pick up your insides as you lift those hips as high as you can. Okay, keep breathing, and keep pressing the hips up. Maybe you start to interlace the hands underneath and walk onto the outsides of the upper arms. Keep breathing and exploring, lifting up. Good. Release down. Or if you want to come up and try a wheel, go for it. Otherwise, do another bridge. Have a mini break as you need. If you're doing a wheel, remember, use your legs first to push the hips up. Come onto the top of the head. Keep lifting up with the legs and push your heart forwards. Breathe wherever you get to. Everybody coming down, resting for a moment. 
knees falling in. Go to counter that back bend. Let's come find shoulder stand. So just shuffling yourself to the middle of your mat if you're not. Bring the knees together, get the hands ready to catch the hips. Rock the hips up into the hands and walk the elbows in to support you. Trying to get your shoulders and hips to stack. And then reach those toes up using the strength of your legs to pull your spine longer. You can stay here or if you want to come into plow, you can let the feet start to fall behind you, maybe touching knees to forehead first, maybe keeping the legs long. Once your toes are on the floor, you can let go of your back if you like, but make sure you're not crushing into the neck and you're not rounding in the back. Keep those hips up, keep that spine straight. From here, if you want to continue, you can come into death bands, dropping the knees either side of the ears and breathing. Wherever you've got to, carefully with control and support, finding your way back out. And coming down to rest on your back for a moment. And just shuffling yourself back up your mat slightly. And then when you're ready, starting to rock forwards and backwards. Getting some momentum, coming right up to a boat pose, catching your hold there. Good, and then crossing the ankles, rolling over through a vinyasa. And back to downward dog. Good, so let's finish up. We're going to come into pigeon pose from here. So as you reach that right foot out behind you, then start to bend the right knee and bring it towards the back of the right wrist. Trying to shuffle the right foot towards the back of the left wrist as you walk the left leg back. So just be really careful with your knees here. Try and keep a flex in that right foot. Keep some engagement there. And try not to capsize onto the right hip. Hide yourself up if you need. Pop a blanket or a bolster there. Reaching the spine long. Walking the hands forwards, maybe coming down onto the elbows or right down onto the face. An optional twist here would be to press into the right fingertips so the right arm lifts and thread the left arm underneath, coming onto the left shoulder, left cheek, maybe wrapping the right arm all the way around, and trying to catch. The right toes. Untangling from wherever you are, lifting and lengthening the spine as you come all the way up and drop onto the right hip, bringing the left leg round in front. Left foot either stands into your shin or outside your knee. Just make sure you can get both bottoms to the floor as you hug onto that right knee. Uh, left knee, sorry, with the right arm. Inhale, tall through the spine and twist that left shoulder around behind you. Light on the left fingertips or take them away. Breathing. Twisting shoulders first, pressing the body into the thigh and then maybe sucking the belly in tighter. Keep your legs as they are, spin the shoulders the other way. So coming back to the middle, and let's try and line the knees up for cow face pose. So starting to explore, stacking those knees, keeping the seat heavy. Don't let this hurt, this is not the point, so just go as far as you can. If that's enough, stay right there. If you want a bit more, you could take the right arm up, and catch hold with the left hand, coming into cow face arms here. 
meant to be opposite top arm to top leg. You can add that forward fold if you're still looking for more. Come all the way up. Untangling, spinning yourself back into a boat. Three, two, one. Through your last vinyasa. Come back, down the dog. Left foot reaches out, and then left knee comes to left wrist, left foot comes to right wrist. Walk that right leg back, make sure your hips are level, don't sit down on that left bottom. And then explore maybe walking down, onto the elbows, onto the forehead. Play with a twist on the other side, have a go here, left fingertips, lift that left arm and then reach the right arm underneath, coming onto right shoulder, right cheek, maybe bringing the left arm around and finding the left pose. Carefully untangling. Bringing yourself back up. Down onto that left hip and right leg spins around. So either into the shin or outside the knee as you squeeze on with the left arm. Inhale tall and exhale. Twist that right shoulder around behind you. Maybe taking the right hand away. Legs stay the same, shoulders go the other way. And then coming to explore your cow face on this side. So trying to stack the knees. And then taking that left arm up maybe. Adding the fold, if that feels good. Good. Bringing yourself back up and out. And coming to find a comfortable cross-legged position. If that's half lotus for you, then enter. If that's full lotus for you, then enter. Be mindful, careful, exploring what you need. Finding a tall spine, steady breath. I'm going to finish with our Viputi breath, so bringing your hands either side of your hips, trying to press those hips back and up as you lift, and let's take 10. Bottom and crossing the legs, folding forwards. And finding your way down onto your backs into a comfortable position, whatever works for you. And taking some time to be still, finding stillness after all that movement. It's just as important. It's not always as easy, but it's as important. Allowing all of that effort from your practice to settle out where it's needed. Keeping all the good stuff and allowing anything you don't need anymore to just leave your body. So find a comfortable position so you can settle down into the support of the ground beneath you and then bring your attention inwards to your breath. Just watching it 
work for you, bringing you what you need, taking away what you don't. Taking a moment to appreciate that service. Found your body and your breath settled. Invite your mind to do the same. Not try to make it stop or turn off. Just letting yourself be an observer. Watching any thoughts, any distractions, letting them come, letting them go without following. As you let yourself rest. You did the best you could today, and that is always enough. As you feel a softness start to spread through the toes, feet, ankles. Legs heavy, as your knees, bottom, hips, relax. All the way up your spine, your whole back, and your shoulders melting down. Belly soft, and your chest open. The length of your arms, relaxing, releasing your elbows, wrists, hands, fingers. Your neck and your throat free. Letting go of your jaw, lips, teeth, tongue, and your whole face soft. Cheeks, eyes, forehead, the back of your head, your whole body, soft, heavy, and relaxed. As you bring your attention in. You're resting at the space between your eyebrows or in heart centre. It's time to bring your attention back to your breath. Feeling that cool inhale fill you up. New space, new energy. That warm exhale carrying away anything that no longer serves you. As you feel each breath, bring a little more energy in. Feel it start to build, start to spread. Down the arms to the fingers, down the legs to the toes, finding a little more breath. And a little bit more. As you reconnect your mind and your body with your breath, shifting your attention, bringing back movement, piece by piece, toes to nose. Maybe stretching all the way out. Maybe tucking all the way in. And then giving yourself a big hug. Say thank you to you for this time today. Time to explore, time to connect. Facing challenges with courage, kindness, playfulness and patience. 
taking all of that with you along with the peace and calm that you've created into the rest of your day. Keep your eyes closed if you can, carefully coming up to a comfortable seat. there, maybe just rolling the head side to side, round and round if that feels good. Back to the middle. Next inhale, shoulders to ears. Exhale, drop. Two more. Bringing your hands back to prayer at your heart, just reminding yourself where the energy of your practice is going today, locking it in for you, sending it out into the world. If you'd like to join me in an arm, you're very welcome. Inhaling. Prayer to your forehead, always think good thoughts, bring your prayer to your lips, always speak good words, especially to yourself, returning your hands to your heart, always doing the good thing, open your eyes, thanks for practicing with me. If you'd like to brush up on your sun salutations, um, I have a, vi a video for that. Um, there's also going to be a few more breakdowns of some of the transitions and some of the more um, challenging postures uh, within the rocket sequence, as well as um, some more foundational um, and sort of alignment uh, videos for some of the uh, sort of more routine uh, asanas, I guess, that we find in rockets, so things like triangle, warrior one, warrior two. Um, but yeah, any any more information that you'd like to know, please leave a comment or um, drop me an email or connect with me on Instagram. I'll put all of that in the description for the video. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the bottom rocket with me today and hope to see you again. Namaste.